Hi Tiny Youth, uh, I'm back, I'm Megan, um, and we're going to get right into it today. We're going to be looking at Romans 5 verse 3 to 5. So I'm going to read them and then we're going to jump right in. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character, and character hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who was given to us. So, this is a really powerful passage. And it starts right off with, we glory in our sufferings, which is a kind of way of saying we rejoice in our sufferings. We take joy in our sufferings, which is a really meaty thing. And what the Bible isn't saying here is not saying that we put a smile on and we sit around and we're like, <laughs> I'm suffering. We pretend that everything's all right. And we, you know, take joy in that way. That's not at all what the Bible is saying. And as I've said in previous weeks, the Bible is full of stories of men and women who endure suffering in many different ways. And not at all does it say in this passage that we're meant to just be like, ha ha, it's great, take joy in it, yay. Not at all what it's going at. But what it is saying is that suffering produces perseverance or endurance, the need to keep on going. And that is something that's so important. As I've said in previous weeks, if you've been watching, I've mentioned this analogy that is used in the church, this um image of climbing a mountain and how hard it is to keep on going and that's the same sort of thing that it's talking about here that suffering produces perseverance the need to keep on going to climb that mountain that we've been talking about and it says further that endurance produces character and character produces strength so for all of the times that we've been through suffering, we develop as people and that makes us stronger. And I, when I think about my own personal life, some of the things that I've been through, I wouldn't be the person that I am today if I haven't walked through them. And I would confidently say that I'm a stronger person because of the things that I've been through. Um, and that is an amazing thing. Don't get me wrong, I didn't feel it at the time. And you might be thinking, there's no way I could get through this and say I'm stronger, I'm, a, you know, a better person. And that's, I'm not saying I'm a better person, but I'm a stronger person for it. And it's in that, like, hindsight that I can look back and say, yeah, I walked through that and that, that made me stronger. I am able to overcome things quicker now. Um, I would say one of my personal strengths from walking through the things that I've walked through is that I am able to identify my emotions and very quickly and know what's going on inside not necessarily taking course of action based on those emotions it's an area of strength that I need to keep on praying for but I'm able to know what's going on inside my head quickly and keep on going and that's one of the ways in which um, my perseverance has produced strength and character in my life and even better it says that this strength in verse five, uh, verse four, that this perseverance character leads to hope. And hope does not put us to shame in verse five. And what this hope is when it's talking about rejoicing in our sufferings, our hope is that our sufferings will not endure and persevere, but that we will. That suffering will not last forever but we do our souls live on forever and we are stronger for everything that we've gone through that suffering is not the end that suffering does not last forever we can put our hope in a lot of things in life uh you put your hope in a football team you will get let down regardless of who they are you put your hope in people, sometimes even people of, I think of TikTok fame, the amount of people on TikTok that get cancelled and we give them our attention and our likes and then eventually they get cancelled. They get exposed, they get whatever the terminology is, they let us down. But we put our hope in them, we gave them our attention, just like we do with so many things of this world. But one of the things that we can put our hope in is God. He is not of 
the world where he comes and goes. The Bible says he is the same yesterday, today, forever. And that we can put our hope in something that is so constant. Even in our sufferings, we can trust that God is who he says he is because he doesn't change. So when he said he was good, he still is because he doesn't change and he's still good. And that might be hard to recognise, but we can put our hope in that. When we put our hope in God, as it says, hope will never put us to shame, as it says in verse 5. It will never put us to shame because of God's enduring love. In giving us Jesus, he rose for us. He died on the cross and he rose for us out of love, out of pure love. And that is something that we can 100% put our hope in. Out of that love, we can trust that God loves us, that he's good and that our suffering will not endure because of what he did through Jesus. And it is when we put our hope in the glory of God that we have that faith and that hope that our sufferings will not endure, that we will endure, that we will persevere, our sufferings will not. It's as uh, the Bible says that we will be more than conquerors through Christ, that we will conquer our suffering, that we will persevere, we will win, that we will get through this. Um, and it just reminds me of that Rain Collective song. I don't know whether you've listened to it. Uh, that's all it reminds me of. <laughs> Yes, so it's out of God's love that we have hope and faith that suffering will not endure. And that might be really, really hard, especially when we're having a hard day or a hard week, to trust that God is good and that we can put our hope and our faith in him that suffering will not endure, especially if we feel like this is never going to end. But we have faith and hope in Jesus who loves us. He loved us enough to die for us and rose again. Um, that we may have hope in God. So I'm just going to close in quick prayer. Yeah, Father, thank you for all that you did in giving us Jesus. And oh God, we just pray that you would really teach us and show us how to put our hope in you, that our suffering will not endure, that we will endure, that you will make us stronger, that you will give us perseverance, character, strength and hope through you. Amen. Thanks for listening to Wine and Youth and uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye.